Let's go ahead. Coach, just what are your, your overall thoughts about the non-conference uh, schedule and season, and then uh, your thoughts going into the Pac-12 playing through the um, I think that we, we're getting better. Um, I'm happy with the way the non-conference, um, the way we finished non-conference. I mean, to be 9-2, and two, I think it was, we took care of what we needed to. We hit the goals we wanted to. I mean, we, I feel like we shouldn't have lost against um, North Texas, but then I think that we had a tough game against Kansas. I knew one of those was going to happen on the road. That was a tough environment. But we always, after both of the losses, we bounced back and we played better and got better the next game. So overall with our growth and what we did, I think we got better game by game. Even if it was in one area or another, we did continue to get better. And I think tonight we got better. Uh, you've been saying all season that Lauren Evans shows up in so many different ways that not, doesn't necessarily mean on the stat sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, but tonight she did show up in the stat sheet in a kind of maybe way, six for six on the from the floor. A career high for Lauren, yeah. I mean, and she hit a three, and to be in 26 minutes, 13 points, then three rebounds, three assists, two turnovers, and four steals. That's an incredible game. Um, she played some great basketball tonight. And I think that what I love about what Lauren's doing, whether she's starting, whether she's playing 30 minutes, whether she plays five, she's consistent. I know what she's going to bring day in and day out, and she's done a great job for us. And, and that's why she had more minutes. And tonight, like people don't know, she learns the two, the three, the four. She plays a lot of things, and that's hard. Um, you know, it's a, it's a whole new system this year. So I think she's done a great job. And then also, she's a really good teammate. So those things are really important. And, and I know what to. I know what I'm getting daily from Lauren Evans, and that's that's important. It, it, it's great. Everybody needs a player like her on their team. LB had uh, had two blocks tonight. So she made it. She owns the uh, fourth place. She's fourth all time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I thought she needed four, but yeah, good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's awesome. Uh, Brianna looked like she was really aggressive, uh, especially early on, uh, physically. Uh, is that something that she's just really focusing on more now? Is is because at the beginning of the season it did look, you know, that that wasn't really apparent. Well, I think she's feeling better now. I think you know, feeling better with her knee and her body. Um, I thought she was five for fifteen tonight, but she. Took about four or five shots that she can make. They were open on the high post. They were good shots. Um, I thought that she could make those. She could have been 10 for 15. But, um, you know, I'm happy the post players, besides Deja, they took care of the ball a lot better tonight. But I told her, hey, if you shoot into her hands, if you shoot into to Courtney West's hands, she's going to block your shot. But use quick moves around her. I thought she really was aggressive with midline moves. And that's what we've been working on. Not settling, not settling for a jumper. Because I thought the last couple games, Bree was settling for short corner jumpers, and she wasn't taking it inside. So I think she did a really good job of translating what we do in practice to the game, and that was good. Um, I mean, she did a great job, and she was one on one inside. I thought the post played really well tonight. I think their chemistry showed tonight, so I was impressed with that. There's a point in the game where you guys are really hitting inside and outside. Uh, Alonzo and, and really the Brittany were kind of had a, about a two or three minutes spurt where they were hitting threes and, and hitting low post moves, but. Um, uh, for Lucia, um, it seems like there's been a couple times uh, watching her play that um, she'll have an opportunity for a fast break mm -hmm. and she holds on to it. Is that a, a coaching thing or is that just on her? No, that's on her. And some of that could be because she plays a lot of minutes. Um, but I want her, and it could be a little bit of her hesitancy, could be because a lot of times before she was bringing up the middle and turning the ball over. So I think sometimes she takes it to clear and see, let the traffic go by. Um, because she had to do a better job of taking care of the ball, but I do want her to push it. I want her to push it and transition a little bit more than she does now, but you know, she's a freshman. She's gonna be like this. It's hard, she's a pass first point guard. So tonight I said, hey, when you're open, look for your shots. We need her to be a shooter. I thought she was a little more aggressive with tonight, but see, she still only took six shots. I think she can take eight, nine shots a game, 10 shots a game. Um, but I was really impressed with overall, 20 assists to 32 field goals. We shared the ball, that's a season high for us. Um, I think that overall, it was a really good team effort. We didn't take a lot of bad shots. I mean, sometimes in the past, we have our shots for bad shots. And I consider a bad shot, a bad, early in the shot clock off of the first, second pass, or a contested shot. Someone in your face, that is not a good shot. So um, I feel like we're learning, and that's one of the reasons why I'm happy with this game. I feel like that we're turning the corner on a lot of those things. We were able to execute our on-ball defense. We were able to share the ball. And those are things because as the, as the competition gets tougher and the teams get better, a lot of things that we were able to do in non-conference, we're not going to be able to do in Pac-12 play. So those, these little things are very important to me. The other thing that you did tonight was they got the lead mm -hmm. and they held it. 
Yeah. So it wasn't there wasn't a let up in the, at the end of the third quarter, which sometimes you've had. Yes. So that was uh, and and again everybody contributed. Well, and I felt that also we one of our like our um, our the the problems that we've had is starting off the first the beginning of the game being really passive and I felt that we played a lot better but those shots didn't fall. But I felt it felt good that they were good looks. They weren't bad shots. They were in our offense. We just didn't convert. Um, so I thought that we did kind of turn the corner on starting better. We continued to have a stellar third quarter. <laughs> we just wait till third quarter to start playing our best. But the good thing is, you said, not letting up, keeping the lead, learning how to sustain that and stuff. That's just something that's learned because we kind of let up. And, you know, there's going to be peaks and valleys in games. But having more consistency shows you, you're becoming better. I think that we're, we are um, we are improving, and that's a good thing. And we had some goals set for the amount of points we wanted to, you know, for Portland State to score, and we had a turnover goal. We reached both of those goals. Um, so we were able to execute those things, and that's hard. Um, and in the past, we haven't been able to do that. So I was proud of the team's performance tonight with uh, a limited bench. Uh, that was my next question, yeah. actually. Julia Bennett and... Uh, Sharice Holloway, what's their status? Well, so Sharice, just, she just had an injection just for preventative things, so it was to rest her a couple days and have her ready for Pac-12 play. And then um, um, Julia just, you know, she had a concussion a couple weeks ago, so she had a little collision in practice. It's not a concussion, but, you know, you have to give 24 hours when something like that happens because she had just had a concussion, so... But she'll be fine. Like she's practicing, she's fine. Uh, Eleven games are, are gone. Uh, non conference is over. What did you learn about yourself? Uh, you know, being the first time head coach. Well, uh, I, I learned. I'm learning patience a lot more. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting more patient. It's hard because sometimes I'm like now ready, but it's a process. I think um, you know, learning how to win is a process, and and building. I'm someone big on like this team needs to have confidence, needs to feel good, needs to. Just have little um, victories, and whether that's in practice, whether that's it's it's a day at a time. It's not looking ahead. It's not halfway through the conference looking at the Pac-12. It is one game at a time, one day at a time, and you know it is a marathon, not a sprint. That's what my friends tell me. Sometimes I just want to sprint out the gates, and be like, let's go, let's win the race. But it, it's a process, and I think that the type of offense and stuff we were running, it was going to take longer to read and it. It it does take longer, but in the end, it's going to be better because teaching the players you know, how to read the game and how to um, counter things. I think that was important for building this program. And I think that um, the seniors have been great. Like, we've had our challenges and we've had our adversity. But as a team, I think that we did pull together in a lot of ways. I think in the past, some adversity that we had, the team wouldn't have been able to pull together with. Um, so I'm happy I've learned just to be patient and to kind of stick things out. I think as, as a young coach, probably a tendency is something's not working, you want to change it. And I think learning and, you know, as I talk to my mentors and friends and learning kind of stay the course, keep working on fundamentals. You know, I talk to Messina sometimes and, you know, Salvo's father is a great experienced coach and you know, Mike Neighbors, just different friends. Like, and it's stay the course, stick with what you do, work every day. And so that's, I think that's, because you want to change things and then work, you're like, this isn't working, but give it a chance. I've learned that about myself and just learning that process and it, it takes time. How difficult is it going to be to get the team ready to go for Cal on Thursday? It's a quick turnaround. Right after that, Stanford. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough first weekend. <laughs> Not the weekend by choice by any means. But, um, no, I think it's tough. But, you know, when I look across the Pac-12, it's exciting. There is not a team that's easy. I mean, from Washington State to ASU to Washington, there's six ranked teams. So every game is tough. And I know that we're going to have tougher um, competition than we do now, but also we're getting better, too. And we're an athletic team that also can pose some problems for some different teams. So I think that my team is feeling more confident. And, and that's what I wanted. The goal's accomplished. That's what I wanted to go into this Pac-12. But it's going to be tough. And every game's tough. And for us, all the games have been tough. And it's different challenges, whether it's, you know, this team has a lot of length. They were going to play a 2-3 zone. We're going to face a lot of zone. We've gotten better attacking the zone. So those things, we've gotten better in our press and our transition defense. So at least I'm seeing us improve in the areas. And, and um, we're, not, we're not playing to competition. We're just getting better in what we do. And that's, that was important for me. So, but it is a quick turnaround. So I tried to rest people down the stretch because I know that in 48 hours, it's, it's calm. They're big and they're athletic. You know, but we're playing at home, so that's a good thing. So. And Terry had a great game, first game back. She did.
Yeah, I thought Taryn was really good. I didn't want, I wanted to play her around 15, 20 minutes max. I thought she did a good job. I mean, she's been out for a couple weeks, but, but Taryn's fine. Taryn has a really high basketball IQ, and she does what she does well. Um, she only had one turnover. I mean, 15 minutes, six points, two blocks. I thought she had a monstrous block. Yeah, she, um, sometimes I forget how, how her, she has hops. I forget that until she gets a great offensive rebound or has a monstrous block. But that was a pretty sweet block. Um, but she gave us really good minutes. I thought the bench... 32 points from the bench was really good. Bria gave us really good minutes defensively. Lauren, awesome minutes. Um, I thought even Farron, Farron two for three in four minutes, you know, four points, two blocks is really good. So everybody overall did good. And, and we didn't have a, a lot of bench. You know, you didn't, Sharice wasn't available. Jeannie wasn't available. Jalea, that's a lot of a lot of people missing. So I thought, I thought the team did a really good job. So you expect all of them to be, or at least the two, Julia? Yeah, they'll all be ready for it. And, for, and that's one of the reasons why I'm resting some today, because they'll all be ready to play for um, Cal and Stanford. So that's exciting. Get everybody back, and hopefully we'll be, we'll be able to practice with them people. That'd be awesome. We need our practice guys back. So they've been on vacation. We can't have any vacations around here. We're in season. All right. Thanks. Thank you.